We should be back. I'm biting the bullet tonight. I'm biting the bullet on that one. I'm, I'm, this seems to be becoming more and more of a thing, so I'm just going to deal with it. Uh, so this is D2. I'm going to bite the bullet and I'm going to buy the, the thing. Because I'm annoyed that this is still happening. Even though I bought a new router. To fix all of this. Oh, that just came right out. Uh, so do you, so. B1, 2, and 3. Hopefully it should be fine for the rest of the stream now. But I'm just, I'm just going to get the power line ethernet kit and just deal with it. Even though I'm trying to pay this shit down, but it's fine. We'll make it work. That's what I'm feeling. No fear, no pain. God, I can't get over how just boring Chris Pratt's Mario voice is. I feel like it's the best choice he could have made on how to do it, but it's still boring. It doesn't sound terrible, it's just, it's just dull. Uh, so which way is this? Okay. So this face is down. This needs to pop in there. Do I have this? I might have this upside down. Yeah, that that looks more like it's going to fit together. Okay. Uh, and then we will pop his neck in here. Now we have look at look at our look at our beautiful hibiki torso. I wish I could get these two pieces to sit together, but uh, okay, so we need B2, 23, and 24. Oh, it's his abs. It's Hibiki's beautiful, beautifully defined abs. So what's everybody up to? What is everyone up to this, this Thursday afternoon in this this post hearing Chris Pratt's Mario voice world? How how is your survival going? Nice. Kirby, Kirby time is is good times. Okay, D one seventeen fifteen, sixteen, seventeen and D two seventeen. 
仮面ライダー空間I mean, we, we did survive the, the Chris Pratt Mario apocalypse. Okay, so this is 24. So we need to slot these in with the peg, the, the thing facing into the body and the peg facing outward. And then abs up. Now we just need to get everything to line up properly. Come in line da agito. Why isn't it lining up properly? Come in da agito. There we go. I feel like almost I will have an easier time. The bottom one was, was, f oh no, this, okay. That's the problem. The bottom one, the peg needs to go inward into the body. There we go. That was probably the issue. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Hibiki's, Hibiki's beautiful abs created. Pop him in. Yes, look at him. Look how beautiful. We just put his, his beautiful, his beautiful sculpted abs together. We have a beautiful Hibiki torso here. He's got a little, little bit of, of, of bend. Oh, uh, the, fr the French dub made him sound like normal. The French? The French made him sound like Mario. The French did. I'm gonna push this movie into the ocean. Let me see. I'll turn, I'll turn Firefox on for you. I'm doing good. We're building Hibiki. We're, we're talking about Mario. Uh, let me switch this. Let me pull it down here. Oh, that sucks. And by that sucks, I mean that's a really good Mario, and I'm mad that the French got him right and we got Chris Pratt. Football? Why are you cold? Cold and soaked. Is it raining? Is it raining? Warm it. Be sure to dry off and warm up, okay? Here, let me, let me, let me, oh, here, let me, Maru, Maru, be sure to dry off and warm up, okay? Okay? I don't want you to get a cold. I don't want you to get sick, so get yourself in something warm. And make sure you towel off, okay? Yeah, if you're gonna do this to me, I'm gonna do it to you. Also, I may have recorded that, that girlfriend experience script that's going around. Just so you know. I may have. Uh, so we did... Okay. So we have, we have... We can make him do crunches. We can make Hibiki do crunches. Um, oop, I popped his neck back off. There we go. God, if we will, we will remove, we will forcibly remove Chris Pratt from what I don't know, but we will forcibly remove him if he tries. When you play the game of lesbians, you either own a send voice or you die. There is no middle ground. That is the truth. Okay, time for arm building. So we need D1. 
D1 and B1. But, uh, if y'all, that video is not going to, me uh, recording that, that's not going to come out on Son of Mecom. I <laughs> uh, came across an article on Kotaku about the new Pokemon trailer that suggests the ham in the sub sandwiches. I refuse. No. No, it's just ham. It's just ham that came from nowhere. It's ham that came from nowhere. No one has ever heard of Lechonk in their lives. It's illegal. Uh, B1, 17 and 18. 16, 17 and 18. No one has ever heard of Lechonk in their lives. It's illegal. I mean, look, people eat far-fetched, and that's fine. I, I don't mind that. You can eat those. Those guys are little fuckers. Those guys are little motherfuckers. I like the- I like, uh... Farig Giraffe. Farig- Farig Giraffe. I don't know what we're- I don't know how to say it. But I like it. I gotta put- I gotta put my tunes back on. There we go. Oh, nope! That's the wrong thing. Sometimes my play button can't decide- the play button on my keyboard can't decide what exactly it's attached to. Oh, about Mario? Yeah, cause that, uh... It looks really good! Everything is really good aside from Chris Pratt's voice. It's a good trailer! The, the beginning of it, before Mario is there, absolutely owns. It's really good. It's just Chris Pratt is Chris Pratt, and he made a choice, and I understand why that, that voice acting choice was made. But, you know. Okay, so D14 is this. He made a choice, and I understand why it was made. And that's... The best I've got to say about it. D14 and D116. So that's this. Okay. Uh, this goes this way. Is the right one? Okay, so this this one. We slot that in like that. This goes on here? Like this? That's so loose. Oh no, it goes up here. Okay, that makes more sense. That way makes way more sense. And then this. Snaps in around it. Is this on here? All this isn't on here all the way. There we go. Now we're in. We're snug. We're snug. We're good. There we go. There, I believe, is our shoulder joint. So now we have B119, which will come off of here. I love this plastic. It's so gorgeous. Oh my god. 16, 19. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this just fits on- okay, so this is- this is the shoulder armor, 
that just pops onto a joint, much like how it does on a figure arts, and we'll just kind of rock back and forth on that. And then B2, 30 and 32. So 30 and 32. Superman. Yep. Well, welcome to, uh, Welcome to the new world, Maru. Yeah. Like, the Bowser stuff is really good. Like, Jack Black as Bowser is as good as I expected. Very enjoyable, very fun performance. Bowser is very animated, very fun. Really love it. Mario's voice is so fucking dull. Bowser is a hot turtle who hex. I'm trying not to swear because it's gamers out reach, otherwise y'all know what I would say. Y'all know how I feel about Bowser. Yeah, no, the animation is great. Like, Mario's design, Bowser's design. Oh no, that's okay. We can say hex. We can say hex, I think. Um, like, Mario looks great. Bowser looks great. Okay, so this goes on the back like toad really good i forget who do they have voicing toad luigi looks spot on um if you turn it up mario is doing a he chris what chris pratt seems to be going for my guess as to what he is going for is brooklyn mario instead of the the heavy italian mario keegan michael key that's it that's it. Doing a great job. Amazing job. Um, he is doing the Brooklyn Mario. Which I understand as the only choice Chris Pratt could make. He could not do a proper um, a proper Charles Martinet Mario. He is not capable of it. It's, he's just not capable of that. So I understand the choice to do the Brooklyn Affect Mario. I understand the choice. Um, our guess right now is that he's from New Dunk City, which is essentially New York. Yeah, I think, I think 64 is when they drop the, the Brooklyn thing. Um, but the, the guess that we made at time of watching was that he's from New Donk City. Because, based on the Bowser stuff, it does seem that there are different kingdoms. Not necessarily the Odyssey kingdoms, but New Donk City would make sense because we do know that Donkey Kong is in this. Um, and that would make sense for the Brooklyn accent. Uh, so we did this. B1, 20, and 21. Okay. Uh, 16, 20, and 21. Here we go. Like, it, it makes sense. New Donk City is, I think, the most logical choice because I don't think we're doing real world uh, just based on Mario's character design. But I think they could make that work with New Donk City. Yeah, I mean, they are... 
like, those penguins have existed in Mario for a long time, but they, it does feel like a very, uh, we want to do something a little bit minions that we can, uh, market, and the penguins have always, in Mario, have always been very cute. And this is Illumination. I did think the penguins bit was funny, but I, I, for all that it's that, I do love that they used it to be like, okay, we are going to let Bowser get a little goofy. Oh yeah, I don't think there's going to be any live action bits. I don't think, after, after the old Mario movie, um, I don't think Nintendo will be doing that again. Yeah, no, I, I definitely get you there. Um, it definitely does have that vibe. It definitely, it definitely does carry those vibes. Like, the, the penguins definitely feel like they were chosen for that reason. But at least the bit is funny. And feels like it will be a very small percentage of the movie. And, like, I don't mind that kind of thing if it's a very small percentage of the movie, you know? Yeah, like, Toad has gone kind of back and forth on voices. And I think Keegan-Michael Key found a good in-between. Where it's still kind of a weird voice, but since it seems like toads are going to be such, like, a big thing in this movie, having to listen to them shriek speak for, like, 90 minutes to two hours, I think would be unbearable. So I'm like, this is a fine in-between. <laughs> okay, so now they want me to, to put this all the way down. I see. Okay, so C, I need the C. Yeah, like, it, I think it would be a little too much, but I think, I think it's a, the Toad voice, I think, is very good for a voice that definitely still feels like Toad, but that we will have to listen to for, like, two hours. Uh, so 10 and 13. Abarata. Mario, look, we made his head. It looks like Ibiki. He's Ibiki. I love him. Uh, so 10 and 13. I'm hoping that we get to go to the dinosaur, to dinosaur land. I'm not even, like, I love Yoshi, but I don't even, like, care if we get to, like, have Yoshi as a big presence in the movie. I just want to see, like, that iconic Super Mario World overworld of dinosaur land. Because I love dinosaur land. I love dinosaur land more than the Mushroom Kingdom. Okay, I want to do a little bit of detailing on these. Uh, we're, we're not doing a lot of, like, painting, but I am doing a little bit of, of detailing, just so... Just so none of, of his, his very nice details. Because this is a beautifully detailed kit, and I don't want those details to get lost. I don't want the the beautiful details of this beautiful kit of Hibiki's beautiful design to get lost. Today, get up. Abare, abare, abare. God, Abba Ranger's a weird show. Every dinosaur sentai is just incredibly strange. Most of them are still very good, but are strange. God, 
Sovereign Zero is good. Kibo Zetsubo wo Ran Zero Hajimarateru. I'm still so floored by how well this works for cleaning up panel lining. Okay, so this goes upward. This goes on the arm itself. I think they want me to assemble this first. Uh, and then A29 and 27. Okay, so 29 first. Ooh, nice. I still want to pick one of those up eventually, but they're a little out of my, my range of things for right now. Oh, really? Wow. Maybe I will, uh, take a look then, since I have to buy another thing on Amazon tonight anyway. Does it go this? Yes. Okay. Those fit together like that and then slot in like that. Match the shape from here and apply it by wrapping around. Okay, so I think it's these. Uh, no? Where's my other sticker sheet? <laughs> There it is. Okay, so it's... Oh, jeez. It's okay. It's okay, I got it. Uh, so 22... Oh, God, if that's the case, I might as well just paint these. Hold on, where's my silver? My silver marker. I'd rather, for stuff like this, I'd rather just paint it. We're just gonna be real, real careful about it. Like, what's the other bit? Three? Okay, so I think that's this, which I may... I may do? But these silver bits on the red, I would rather just... Just paint this on. I think it'll just look better and last longer. I 
as long as I don't stick my fingers in the paint. There we go. I'm gonna try not to lean away from the camera. Unfortunately, I am someone with, like, very shaky hands. As I try desperately not to, like, lean out of frame. I'm still, I'm still doing it. I'm still leaning out of frame. Because I'm trying to, like, be very, very careful. I think I did figure out some of the sound problems from yesterday. I think those were because of, um, I had tried to set up the, uh, NVIDIA broadcast for my mic, and I think it, like, did some weird shit with, with all of the settings, so I just closed it, and I'll figure that out another day. Get on, ready to go, gingana hotte hotte oi kake te iku. There we go. Okay, where's the... Where's the rest of... Oh! Somehow I knocked it off onto my lap. Bickering so, uh... in here. We'll try, and if it doesn't look good, I just won't do it. Did not anticipate doing any painting on Hibiki, but a little bit is fine. Just a little bit, as a treat. Little a painting as a treat. I, des I deserve this after uh, experiencing Chris Pratt's Mario voice. It's not as bad as I was expecting. I'll give it that. It's, it's perfectly competent. It is, it is perfectly competent, and I understand why 
he would do the Brooklyn accent. Even if it's not even a full-on Bro Brooklyn accent, but, you know, whatever. It's, I, I understand the choices being made, and it's, it's perfectly acceptable. If everything looks, if everything else looks great and the worst thing is Chris Pratt's voice, that's, frankly, I think we got off pretty okay. I think we came out of it pretty okay if that's the case. And it seems like it is. Like, I'm excited for the movie. I am excited to see it. I definitely don't think Chris Pratt has been dreaming of voicing Mario his whole life. I, I do not think that is true. But, you know, whatever. It's fine. Okay, I can put that back over there for now. Some more car chase. There we go. Oh, I forgot to do the little diamonds. It's fine. Genuinely don't think Chris Pratt has been dreaming of voicing Mario his whole life, but... You know, that's what you say when you're in a movie of a, a famous IP that's been around for a million years. That's the thing that you say. The only person who's ever said that, and I believe them, is the woman who voices Jolene in the parts in the part six anime. It's the only person I believe when they say that. And she doesn't even say that. She was she was like, I wanted to be someone who supports Jolene because I didn't think I was good enough to be Jolene, a character that I have admired all my life. But they cast me as Jolene and I'm I'm so honored. And she did I, I haven't watched part six, but I've like seen bits of Jolene speaking, and I think she does an amazing job. But she is the only person I believe when they say something like that. I, I have no idea what else she's done. I just know, I have just like seen a lot of interviews with her about playing Jolene. Okay, so it goes this way. There we go. That's that's Hibiki's arm. That's our our mus our muscular dad, Hibiki. Okay, they want me to do these stick they want me to do this sticker. I want me to do three. Oh god. Uh Judgment Time. Deco Ranger. And they want me to start it from here and try to line it up. And it does it does not want to stay on the plastic. So this, this may be a thing where this, this sticker is a bust. Cause it does not, it is not staying on here at all. Okay. Well, that's fine. I can accept giving up on that. 
so then we have C1. Uh, they want me to pick 5 and 9, which are uh, a fist part. I don't want to pick that one. I'm going to do... I'm going to do his little wavy hand. Power up. Green ground. Pink stone. And then we'll... Is it the same hand back for all of them? I love how hard Jack Black went in his little interview segment, though. Him just being like, yeah, I'm Bowser. I'm cool, powerful Bowser. That doesn't fit right. Now I'm gonna have to have all these hand back pieces sitting around trying to find the right one. Mermaid, Garuda. Who, Jack Black? Is Jack Black doing fucking NFTs? Because I will disown him. That's not right either. God damn it, Jack Black. I will enjoy his performance as Bowser, but I will disown him as a human being. Which one of these does this line up with? I think it's this one? None of- oh god, is it one of these? Damn it, there's so fucking many of these. Fine, I will do- I will do the hand that it wants me to do. So is it five and nine? Poe would never do NFTs. Poe would do NFTs and then he would find out, like, anything about NFTs and be like, oh, this is awful. Fuck this, actually. Like, Poe would very naively... Oh, hello, this is Kamen Rider Hibiki. We are- we have built his torso and his head, and we are currently working on his right arm. Welcome. I don't even know if I read that correctly. That's not in English, I think. Um... Anyway, Poe would very naively get into NFTs and then, like, learn anything about NFTs and be like, Oh, I hate this, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were offering me nine fried turkeys. Forget this. Okay, so we have built an arm. We have, we have built an arm. Put that over there for now. Turn the page. Can I just, like, plug his arm into his- into his shoulder? Okay, I'll deal with that later then. Left arm! Same thing, but in reverse! Uh, so we need B2, D1, and D2. So... D1, 5. 
Kung Fu Panda is way better of a movie than it has any right to be. I hope that's a thing that we can all agree on. Like, that, that movie should not be as good as it is. Uh, D216. But just that they, like, that they looked at that movie and were like, okay, like, this is, a, this is a fine starting point, but what if we actually made a really good kung fu movie? What if we took this and actually made a real, like, a good, real kung fu movie out of this? And it's, like, genius. Is there a fourth? I mean, like, look, they, they, that is a thing that they do with all of their movies, is make them one movie too long. Except in Shrek's case, it was the third movie, and then the fourth one was actually good. So, like, Shrek 3 is the one that everyone's disowned as a movie, which I think is really funny. Um, I think I've seen a little of Shrek 4. I have seen Kung Fu Panda 1 and 2. I don't think I've seen Kung Fu Panda 3. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll watch both of them. Okay, so. That makes sense, right? With how... Hold on. I can pry these. I didn't put them all the way together yet. I can pry them apart still. I've got- I know I've got pry tools over here. Is this- is this my pry tools? Yes. Uh, I bought these to try and pry apart that Ray Earth kit. Oh! There it is. And, uh, haven't gotten there yet, but one day. Okay, this goes in like this. No? Yes. Because it wants this in the back, this like this. Okay. This should be correct. Uh, this does not have a pry tool with it, as far as I can tell, but I do have my own. Um, it might be in one of the clear ones? I don't know, I don't know where it would be. Uh, B219. Susume bo kenja. Chikyu no hate made, mezase bo kenja. Go, go, ready, go. I, God, Bo Kenja's theme is so good. Bo Kenja's theme is the best in all of Super Sentai. Hands down. It is not an argument. There's a little bit of warping along the edge of the shoulder pads. Tade hitotsu dake mo. Dakara ga. Start up atsuki no chi. Shift up haya kichishi no. Okay, 29 and 31. Here we go. Go, 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 go. Ready, go. Susume bo kenja. 
ni o sora o tani o sabaku no koete. I will get back to covering this one day. It will be the short version, because I can't learn this whole song. I don't have the memory space for that anymore. But I will do it one day. It will happen. Okay. So this goes like this. Uh, here we go. This goes on to this side. And this goes on to this side. Why is there a little gap here? Is this not sitting properly? Go, go, ready, go. Is this side not sitting correctly? Iku oku de mono nemuri kara sameta. Because, like, this all fits together, right? Boken, boken, one again. I put it on the right side. It feels like it's on there, right? Okay, Katten, you have a good lurk. You have a good evening. Oh, there we go. It's because they were, the thing, the thing was turned a little bit, so it wasn't quite sitting right. Ready, go, Susume Bokenja. Sore wa saikyo no teamwork. The sun is a deadly laser. Oh god, that scared me. <laughs> Hi, fairy. How you doing? Sun is a deadly laser. That is why you wear sunscreen when you go outside. That is that is my my advice to you as your mom. As your very powerful internet mom, that is my my advice. Okay, so we're going to do what we did with the other ones is we're going to we're going to do a little lining first. God, Bokendra has a good ending and a good opening. Like, both some of the best in the biz. Metroid will do that. I assume. I've never played a Metroid. I do have Metroid Dread just, like, sitting, though. I do have a copy of it. That I will get to one day because Suri put it in my house. Let's go round and round Bokendorina. Remember the time Suri bought me Ultraman Tiga and confused the hell out of me because I he didn't tell me that he did that? And I was like, who the hell sent Ultraman Tiga to my house? Uh, my friend bought me the, the box set of Ultraman Tiga and didn't tell me. And one day, it sh and it showed up at my house and I was like, Drez, did you buy me Ultraman Tiga? Because Drez is usually the one who does stuff like that. And Drez was like, no. 
And I'm like, who the fuck sent me Ultraman Tiga? I'm like, who the fuck sent Ultraman Tiga to my house? And I was, like, screaming on Twitter for, like, two hours. And then, uh, and Suri didn't see it. Because I think he was working. And then, uh, I finally... I think he finally saw me being, like, having a panic attack over it. Because <laughs> I, was, I was really confused. And then he was like, I bought Tiga that- when we were talking about Tiga the other day. And I was like, oh, thank god. Because <laughs> I was just like- I was at that point so relieved just to know where it came from. Because I had been, like, freaking out for hours over, like, where the fuck did this come from? Why is this happening? Uh, and this was before Shout Factory had announced that they were, uh, gonna be stre- that they were adding, uh, Tiga, Dinah, and Gaia to their streaming. Uh, cause that was the reason Suri and I had been talking about Tiga, is that I was- I was talking about how, at the time, I genuinely thought we were never going to see Tiga- streaming because of uh because of johnny's i genuinely thought that it was never going to happen uh and then shout factory like several months later was like hey here's tiga dinah and gaia Like, I, I, I genuinely never thought we would see Tiga streaming. I thought Tiga Dinah Gaia was going to be one of those things where you just had to buy the DVDs. And that was, that was it. And then Shout Factor was like, no, we, we did this. And I'm like, how? How Johnny's does not believe in the internet. Like, they hate it. <laughs> That's fair. I do love Trigger. Is the movie on the DVDs? Because then I have the movie. I don't remember what's on those DVDs. Because I haven't watched them. <laughs> oh, it's just gone? I'm sure it's somewhere, but... <laughs> Honestly, I, I if I was super I, I'd be like, I'm gonna we're gonna do like a special showing on YouTube, like a special unarchived showing, knowing that people will record it and it will get out there, just out of spite, because Johnny's is is so fucking baffling. E John, E John, John. gonna leave that piece there and get the next one which is C114 they should that would be great I am all for media preservation and I know that is not the main aim of most people who, who pirate things, but it's the aim of at least some of them. So, 
There's that. There we go. Okay. Now we do the lining. Line these bits, clean up that lining, and then do a little bit of painting. And we're just, we're not going to bother with these because it just didn't say there. Hi, Maru. Hi, Maru. Yeah, this will stick to me, but it won't stick to the plastic. Hi, Maru. What you doing? I may send you the, uh, the video of the thing I recorded later, if you don't mind. Uh, I'll explain why you might mind privately, but I tried to, to load that before and I couldn't get the page to load. I couldn't get the page to load. I wanted to check it out. Oh my god, I... English speaking Ultraman Zero is still traumatizing. See, I didn't even get to a login. It just wouldn't load the page for me. I don't know, I don't know what the problem was. English dub Ultraman Zero does terrify me. I don't know, I don't know what it is. No, no other, like, English dubbed Ultraman freak me out. But there is something about the way whoever it is doing Ultraman Zero's English voice speaks as Zero that just, like, sends me over the edge. If we get to jump scares, Drez, you should submit English-speaking Ultraman Zero as a jump scare. The, that is the truest of all jump scares, is English-speaking Ultraman Zero. Climax. Then maybe I will submit it as my own jump scare. It's horrifying. No, I'll, I'll fight Kiara for you. I will, I will, I will fight for my, for my waifu. I don't know if I could, I don't know if I could take Kiara in a fight, but I'll try. I miss the era of, of chatbots. Does anyone else remember AOL chatbots? Chatbots in, in AOL chat rooms? And how, like, weird and intricate they were? They probably ran on, like, duct tape and a dream. But you could host, like, whole Pokemon battles. I forget what else we- I think we use them to color- do, like, gradient color with text. I'm aging myself desperately with this, but... I forget what else they were used for. Let's 
つも突然。It's been one million years since I've thought about AOL chatbots. I feel like they function like similar to Nightbot, but they had other features because it was a different thing. Okay, and now we need. A twenty-eight and twenty-six. I feel like I should just cut this thing out because it's enormous and like is weighing this side of the thing weird. Okay, twenty-six and twenty-eight. Geeky danger. God, Geki Ranger is a hell of a show. Okay, so we take this and we match. Oh god, no, it's not it's not right. There we go. And then we pop that into there. Oh, we need, we didn't need to do these. So B2, uh, 21, 20 and 21, 20 and 21. Will I one day buy more powerful nippers? Perhaps. But that day is not today. Okay, so now we take this. The flat end goes outward. The flat end goes outward. Tilt that down. Make sure that's nice and taken care of. So then how does this go? This faces out. This is not, there we go. I think, I think that's correct. There we go. Look at Buff Daddy Hibiki's arms. We gotta get him another hand. Uh, so let's see, C112, twelve. and three. Gek, shik, kini, ka, ka. Nice.
Nice. Look at you taking care of all those grown-up hedgehog chores. Powerful. Okay, popping his hands in. Look, Buff, Buff Daddy Hibiki starting to come together. I'm not sure if there's like an assembly fit. I keep pulling his neck out. There we go. There we go. He got his arm in. You should. You should invent a machine that cleans the dishes for you. He's coming together. He's got a whole torso. He's got a whole ass torso going on. We can make it, we can make him do crunches. He's got a lot, he's got a lot of range of motion in the head and neck. There we go. I don't want that to fall. We might need that again. Right leg. It is time for leggy. Leggy. Uh, so we need D1. So we'll start with 13. And then 11 and 12, which are these big flat pieces. Bah, bah, burning hot. And then 15 is this piece down here. Okay, so now we take this, like this, and so the big piece goes on the bottom. I'm going to try not to do what I did with Rare Earth and fuck this up massively. I think I'm already doing it backwards somehow. This is this side, this goes this way, on to here. I'm, I'm very certain this is correct. Yes. Okay. We have assembled his knee correctly. So then, step two. B1, 14, and B2, 26. I'm trying to figure out what to have for dinner because I probably should not have a quesadilla for the third night in a row. I should probably not have a quesadilla for the third night in a row. Though what I did do last night, because I'm, I'm smart and funny and cool, is that I used three tortillas. I did a double-layered quesadilla. You should eat Maru. Maru. Hold on. Hold on. Maru, sweetie. You know you need to eat something for dinner, right? Do you want me to make you something? 
Do you want me to make you something for dinner? What do you, what do you want? I'll make you anything you want, okay? There you go. <laughs> this is what we do now. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing this so much. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give the game away when. Uh, I'm gonna give the game away when when my own Asan account happens. Oh, I skipped a step. Okay, so I need D one fourteen. Overtake. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> D-1-14. Here we go. Zegi no highway machine Okay, so D-1-14 and then B-1-7 and 10. 7 is here. Go on. And ten. Six. I'm praying that we don't finish this in one day and then I have nothing to do tomorrow because I assumed that this would take two days. Though it looks Why did that happen? Can y'all, can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me or do I have to throw in an absolute fit? Are we good? Touchy. Every, everybody, everybody, it's ugly. How well, how well gamers? <sighs> gamers, are we gaming? Thank you. Thank you for the cozy, cozy, cozy. Why is, what is this doing? There's a cardboard box under my desk full of manga and it's dying slowly. Ja, go on. How woe gamers. Okay. Um. So we did that. Now we need... Oh, this is a complicated step. But I need to know if y'all are here. Oh, God damn it. 